This is how to determine relative rates. If you know the rate at which one reactant or product changes, you can determine the rates of others. The decomposition reaction of dinitrogen pentoxide is shown below. What are the rates of appearance of NO2 and O2, because of their products, at a time when the rate of disappearance of N2O5, it's a reactant, so it's disappearing, is 4.2 times 10 to the minus fifth molar per second. Okay, well this is simply related to the coefficients in front. The rates have to be relative 2 to 4 to 1, just like the coefficients are in the reaction. Okay, so if I want to do NO2, okay, and determine its rate, remember I'm given the information 4.2 times 10 to the minus fifth. And let me write it very specifically now. This would be moles of N2O5 per liter of volume, also over the time, which is seconds. So if I want to convert from one to the other, I just need to remember, hey, in the reaction, there are two moles of N2O5 for every four moles of NO2. Um, that's essentially what I'm doing, so I, I just have to basically double it, okay, to get it to the rate of NO2 decomposition. So let me punch that in my calculator, and it comes out to be 8.4 times 10 to the minus 5 moles of NO2 per liter of material per second, or, you know, just 8.4 times 10 to the minus 5 molar per second. So that's my NO2. So I did that one for you the long way. Now let me do it the short way, okay? For O2, I'm just going to take 4.2 times 10 to the minus 5, and that's molar per second. I notice that I am coming from N2O5, I am going to oxygen, so I would multiply this by one half. Don't need my calculator for that one, probably didn't for the first one either, but it is 2.1 times 10 to the minus 5 molar per second. So they are relative to one another, relative to the stoichiometry of the reaction.